Hey everyone, welcome back to the Going Zero Waste YouTube channel. I'm Katherine Kellogg and today I'm going to be going over 20 different experience gifts that you can give to friends and your family. The holiday season, the gift giving season is definitely upon us and one of the ways to make it a little bit more eco-friendly is to gift an experience rather than a thing. I feel that when people often hear the term experience gift, their mind immediately jumps to something really big and really expensive. And while it certainly can be something really big and really expensive, it certainly doesn't have to be. So I've just rounded up 20 different things, some that are small, some that are bigger, and hopefully you can incorporate this into your gifting this season. I always love getting an experience gift. I know that my husband and I typically exchange experience gifts. I'll get him tickets to go see his favorite sport team play, and he'll get me tickets to the opera or to go see a theater show. And it's really great because we can kick the year off already having two dates scheduled on the calendar, which is really, really nice. These are also great if you have nieces and nephews or kids. These experience gifts are also really great for them to have bonding time with their family and it's a way to also help out their parents. So anyways, I'm going to get straight into the gifts. The first one is of course coffee. And I find the appropriate way to offer an experience gift is to set out a date for three days because if you give a really open-ended experience gift, then oftentimes without a date on the calendar, it just tends to kind of be forgotten about and no one tends to claim it. One of the best ways to do that is just offer three dates, especially if it's something you're doing with someone rather than just handing them a gift card. If it's something you're gonna do with them, then propose three dates and get it on the calendar so that way you actually cash that gift in. So like I said, the first one is coffee, just taking someone on a coffee date. I think that's so much fun. You can also buy them a gift certificate to their favorite coffee shop. You can sit down, take an hour or two to chat, enjoy warm drinks and catch up with a good friend. The next is ice cream. <laughs> So there is an ice cream parlor in my town and they used to give out tokens and you could just buy tokens of ice cream. They're like these like wooden, wooden coins and you could turn the coin in and then they would reuse them over and over, which I think is so cute. And I think that's such a, especially a great family gift. I know it's a little chilly for ice cream right now, but maybe in the summer, a family could cash those in and all go and get ice cream as a summer treat. Of course, as a way to keep this really low waste, you can get a cone instead of opting for a cup with a spoon. And my favorite ice cream parlor here in the Bay is called Mr. Dewey's Cashew Creamery. It's absolutely the best. And their entire ice cream parlor is dairy free, which I think is so, so cool. Another gift that I always really like receiving, especially in my stocking and giving are movie passes. It's a really common gift that I think a lot of people get, you know, $20, you can give someone a pass to a movie, you can go see a movie together, or it's also a great date night. And that's always really a great one too. Now, I think this is a really fun date idea as well as a fun experience to give is to go to a comedy show or an improv show. There are several troops around here in the area that do improv shows, which is a lot of fun to try and catch one. So you can check out, of course, like a website and maybe buy tickets for the show so that way you and someone else can go as a gift. Now, my parents used to give this to me when I was a kid. There was this arcade that was absolutely amazing in San Antonio called Lars the Land. <laughs> Anyone out there remembers Lars Land? You know what I'm talking about? It was like a nickel arcade. It's the best thing ever. We would always go as a family. It was like probably some of my favorite childhood memories. I had birthday parties at Lars Land, and so they would always buy me a gift card, and we would go to Lars Land, and it was just the best day ever. So, giving someone who's interested in that kind of stuff a gift card to the arcade, I think, is a great stocking stuffer as well as a big gift too. The next is a little bit more sporty, like getting someone a pass for the batting cages or the driving range. My dad absolutely golfs, and I know that he would love a free pass or two to go to the driving range, and those are pretty inexpensive. I think they're around 20-ish dollars. It's been a long time since I've been to the driving range, but that is a great one, especially if you want to pair it with some golf balls and put it in someone's, someone's <laughs> it's like a record. <laughs> if you uh, want to put it in someone's stocking. Now I know that rock climbing here in the Bay Area is all the rage, as I'm sure it is in many other areas. So if someone likes to go rock climbing, maybe you can buy them a pass for that. Now this next one I think is so much fun, a workshop. So I know that around here, there are so many different workshops you can attend and learn a new skill. And I think that's an amazing thing to gift to somebody because not only are they getting to go to a class, they can learn a new skill and it's something they can implement and carry with them throughout their life and use it in other ways. So a bread making class or an indigo dyeing workshop or even a foraging workshop 
There are so many around. Oftentimes places like Airbnb, I know that they have lists of workshops that also take place in your city. So maybe check that out and see if you can buy one for a friend. Museum passes are also really popular experience gifts. These are great to give to friends, family, and of course kids, maybe even buying a season pass to a museum, especially like a kid's museum or something like that where they can enjoy with their family all year long. This is like my personal favorite. And what I do for my birthday party every single year is I rent an escape room for me and my friends and we go and they are so much fun. I'm obsessed. Nancy Drew is my personal hero. And every time I go in, I feel like I have to make Nancy Drew proud because I've read all the books. I've played all the computer games. <sighs> if you're a big Nancy Drew fan, you know, you know. So escape rooms, so much fun, highly recommend best experience gifts, in my opinion. Um, if you're wanting to know what to get me for Christmas, please sign me up. Let's do an escape room. It'll be a blast. So number 12 is tickets to a concert. If someone really, really likes an artist and they're coming to town, you can of course buy those. Now those can be really expensive or really inexpensive. I find that going to a concert with a friend, even if it's something local, just going to enjoy some music, it can be really small, cost five to $10 as a cover charge, go see a local band, so much fun. Of course, there might be giant recording artists coming through like Beyonce or something like that. And of course those tickets would be much, much, much spendier. So the good news is there's a range and you can still have fun with your friend, whether it is something that's massive or something that's just a little bit more local at your coffee shop or dive bar. Number 13 is tickets to a sporting event. I get my husband tickets to a sporting event every single year and it is something that we always have so much fun doing together. And these are major sporting events, but of course minor sporting events are available too. I used to love going to the minor league baseball team in Arkansas, the Arkansas Travelers. I loved going there with my friends and tickets were always pretty inexpensive and it was just a great way to spend time with friends and family. Wine tasting, I live near Napa, which is great because there's wine everywhere. There's so much wine. So wine tasting is, I think, such a fun event to go with friends. You can pack a picnic, you can pick up a bottle of wine, taste a few, and just enjoy a really nice day together. I actually love getting gifts that are a little bit more in advance because the holiday season can be so hectic and coming off that and trying to make plans can be really hard. So having something where you know, okay, well in March, we're going to do this together is also a really, really great way to look forward to that. And I'm sure as many of you know, as your schedules pick up and you become more and more busy, it becomes more and more diff difficult to schedule. So sometimes I have to schedule plans with my friends two months in advance. So actually doing something in the springtime works way, way better. So I've got a few more. I know this video is getting to be pretty long. So I'm going to try and run through them a little quicker. One is to sponsor a run. One of my friends is a marathon runner. She runs half marathons, five Ks marathons. And I know that she would love to have a friend or a family member sponsor a run for her. Cause I know they have to pay an entrance fee. So if you can do that for a friend who likes exercising a lot, that's a really great gift. The next one is a spa or a massage. This is my mom's favorite gift. This is what I get her every single year. I get her gift certificate to the spa and she is a happy, happy lady. The next one is a nice dinner. So going out, having a nice dinner, I love getting gift cards to my favorite restaurants. My parents often will give me a gift card to my favorite restaurant. So Justin and I can enjoy a really, really nice meal together. The next one, which is my personal favorite, it's what Justin gets me is tickets to the opera or tickets to the theater and getting to go and enjoy a really, really nice show. I love that. We go out to dinner together. It's one of my favorite gifts. And then of course, theme park passes. You might be able to get a theme park pass. That's always great. My grandmother for Christmas, when I was a kid, would get me a pass to the water park and she would get me a guest pass. So that way I could bring a friend. Um, we'd always go and I'd spend pretty much all summer. I just lived at the water park. And then if you wanna go really, really crazy, and this is my dream to someday do this for my husband, is to surprise him with a trip to go see his beloved Celtics play at home in Boston. So at some point I would love to give him that trip. That's obviously a huge experience gift that is so expensive and will probably not be happening in the near future, but that is something that I would absolutely love to give him. So yes, experience gifts can be huge and big just like that, or they can be something small like getting a cup of coffee. I really hope this has inspired you to try and choose an experience gift rather than gifting something this year. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or found it useful. Press that big red subscribe button to be notified when new videos are coming out and I will see you next week with a little bit more holiday content. Mm -hmm.